main important thing that I've learned during retreats and mind practice is intention is, a, is the most important key. And it's the energy that you have in your, the several bodies that are in your physical meat suit here, you know, unzipping the banana skin coming out. You have the mental body, the, the emotional body, the etheric body, all these different layers. And, you know, the drive of what you were talking about earlier, like the, the manifestation of, of, of energy, that's in that drive in that emotional body, that energetic part of you, which is really trying to explore and to get information and um, yeah it's like it's it's like the software that's in you you know it's like if you have a gps in your car and you don't know where you're going you're just gonna be driving around not getting lost but you're just gonna end up somewhere eventually but it's good to have a destination point in a sense of your intention and what you want to set and if something doesn't happen your intention that's okay it's just the best thing is have no expectation but have the intention to be in the process of great I'm gonna have an experience I don't know what it is but it's gonna see what happens you know you might go back in time you might see a, a bath or the layout of the, the place that you had you know you might have contact with guides whatever reason you're here for just have that drive inside you like okay I'm ready for the session and do this breath work and then it's gonna see what happens and just just relax but when you try too hard, it is hard. So if you come here to like, I'm gonna have an outboard experience, I'm gonna go into the astral realms and come back with this amazing knowledge. And yeah, you, it might happen or it might not, but don't, you know, you don't, don't wanna let yourself down, just let your mind open. And the best experiences I've had have been the ones that are most spontaneous out of the blue, I didn't even expect. expect. So yeah, so just a few thoughts I wanna tell you about, you know, reality and what's here. You probably know already, but as I said about, it's to do with your thoughts as well, you know, what's around you, really think consciously about how your mind is acting, act, you know, acting throughout the day and during session. Like I know how hard it is to, you know, get into a meditation session and lay down and suddenly you've got, you've got thoughts going on in your mind, you know, chatter, monkey mind, whatever you want to call it. Perhaps sometimes you're not even focused on the session and be honest, it probably happens sometimes, right? You know, maybe you listen to me and then you click out or, you know, oh yeah, I've got to continue breathing. And that's why I do the breath work on the track to help guide you. Otherwise, I just say, okay, br breathe and I'll call you back. It's most likely you're gonna, you're gonna be breathing normally and your mind's gonna be somewhere else. So it's really, it's using a lot of brain power, you know, mental energy, and it can be quite tiring. And this is, you know, sometimes why you get quite sometimes hungry being on the retreats and that's why it's good food. You know, to keep you going. As I heard you many times, oh, I'm just so stuffed, you had to get me a crane to get out of here. <laughs> so um, this is why, you know, good food is, is here. That's nutritious as well. And, um, I'm feeling better already. Really? Yeah. yeah. Just eating right and resting. Yeah, so you don't get much rest because you're working long shifts, right? So that's, I mean. And when I'm not at work, I'm getting ready for, you know, because you're always thinking about work takes up so much of your time. Yeah, I guess. But this is typical, but people like yourselves who look, work long shifts and, you know, it, it, people don't get much of the experiences because they're resting, you know, and I expect that that happens. So it's no surprise that you haven't had many experiences, unfortunately, at the moment, That's but awesome. it's that you've had the rest. But, yeah. you know, I said, learn from the things that you've, and you can take that home and have you practice. I said, the only thing that will help you is when you're in bed at night, just do the breath work mm -hmm. and just set your intention to dream and, yeah, you'll be excited to go home and then rest <laughs> even more, <laughs> hopefully. But, um, I think some of it as well. It's really interesting just to listen to other people's experiences. Because mm. obviously we have a similar interest when it comes to something like this. Mm. this I find it really interesting just listening to the stories. Yeah, and then when as well, it depends on the group size and the, and the dynamics as well, but Sometimes you get people who don't say anything. They're having tons of experiences, but they don't want to talk. As I said, I think yesterday that, you know, if you're in a place where you don't feel like you can talk about your experiences um, because you've never had to, or you feel embarrassed or whatever, um, there's lots of people that come here and they're just completely quiet. And there's one lady who was attending a retreat I did a few years back, and she was having out-of-body experiences every single session, but she just wasn't talking about it. But she was, so, and you think, yeah, I'd add something, but but they went on and started, you know, speak next. But every session she said she came out in the garden and other things, and, you know. Some people are natural explorers like that, but maybe she felt like embarrassed that she was having all these experiences and no one was popping out all the time, you know. Um, but like, it's right, this, you know, this sharing is important. And um, 
again, every group is different. Some people get very emotional and have, you know, some phenomenal experiences and reconnections and it's, it's beautiful, you know. As I said, I've had many uh, messages before in the past saying, why do I have to come to the retreat? I can do this at home in my bed. I was like, yeah, but, you know, again, you, yeah, you have the distractions from home, you're not being fed, and it's like you meet like-minded people, and I find you learn more in person, you know, it's, it's more in-depth, and mm -hmm. it's great to come together as a community, you know, and uh, everything's set up here, which is really nice. Um, so what we're going to do differently today is, in a short while, I'm going to do a gumba for you in here, okay? Um, so you haven't got your blindfold or anything, I, you should have them with you. Get comfortable in a, in a while. If you need to go to the toilet first, please do so. I'm going to guide you through some breath work, uh, a bit longer than I uh, did yesterday. Um, <clears throat> and just set your intention to, you know, things like you want to manifest, uh, or just allowing yourself to dream, if you, you know, when you click out. And most likely you're getting the point at the moment where you're probably feeling the routine a lot more, the sessions and everything, you're finalizing yourself. And just, just go along with that process. I'm not going to guide you like I do on the track, but I'll just guide you for the breath work. Let go of any faults and worries. And uh, I'll leave you in some tones for a bit. Come back and play the gongs and bring you back and uh, weave in with the sounds and everything. But um, any questions so far? Any, everyone happy? Any problems? Was that fun that, was it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> cool. Yeah, I hope you're... Uh, looking forward to the next session. Uh, so if you need to go to the toilet first, please do so. Otherwise, come inside into the room and uh, get comfortable. <laughs>